Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you are doing good. Let's continue our revision series. In this video, we are gonna write programs based on text file. All right then, let's check out the question from one of the sample papers for the current session. Generally, based on text file, you will be getting question for three marks. Here is the question number twenty ninth. Here is the given content of the file. We need to write one function. Name of the function is count words, which counts and prints the number of words. in each line that has length of more than 4 characters look at the output you will get the clear idea for each line we have to count the number of words having more than 4 characters in line number 1 we have 3 such words look at the first line this is the first word having length more than 4 characters this is the second word and here is the third word so in this way we need to print the output We have to keep track of line number as well as count of the words. If you know how to write the program for the same, you can pause the video. And if you don't know, no problem. Let's do it together. According to the instruction, here is the function name. The first step is always to open the file. We are reading the content of the file. That's why file will get open in the R mode. In the previous video, we discuss how to read data from the file. There are three functions: read, read line, and read lines. If you wish to use read lines function, you can do it. But without that, also using file pointer, we can read the content of the file line by line. That we are doing here. Look at the for loop. We are iterating over each line of the file. We did not use any read line function. We will take the help of the file pointer. it means what we are iterating over the content of the file line by line so in this variable we are getting one line at a time using split function we are splitting the line into words actually we got a list of strings in this way we got the words now we need to check the length of each word for that we are using one more for loop in this variable word we are getting individual word now let's calculate the length of this word if length is greater than 4 it means we have to count it so that job we are doing with this conditional statement if length of word is greater than 4 then the variable count will get incremented by 1 which is initialize 0 inside the outer loop there are two loops it is a nested loop we are iterating over each line using outer for loop and we are iterating over each word using inner for loop according to the output we have to keep track of line number for that we are using one variable line number which is initialized to 1 in the beginning it means this is the line number 1 After printing the line number and count of such words, we will increment the line number two. Then we will move ahead to the second line and then to the third line. Look at the print statement. We are printing line number and the count of the words. After processing the file, don't forget to close it. And this is a user-defined function, so we must call that function to execute that function. Hope you understood this explanation. in case you have to practice this program directly in the ide you need to create the data file how you can create if you are using vs code you can directly create the file here itself look at the file after creating the file you can type the content here in this way file will get ready then you can write the program if you are not using vs code go to notepad and type the content and save the file exactly same as the name specified here Make sure program and the text file is in the same path in the same folder. Let me execute this program and show you the output. Look at the output. We got the desired result. In line number one, we have three words which has character more than four. In line number two, one word, and in line number three, there are two such words. While dealing with text file, this split function is very important. In all the programs, you will be using it because generally you need to count the words or print the words based on some criteria. For that, first we have to split the line into words. All right. For the question number twenty nine, there will be or part. This or part is also based on the text file. So let's read it. We need to write one function. Name of the function is mentioned as display. in which we need to display all those words from the given text file that ends with the word at from the file 
the name of the file is create.txt what we need to do we have to display all the words which has at at the end it can be cat it can be mad or it can be word at these types of words we need to display we don't have to count we need to display those words as i explained we need to apply split function on every line and how you will be iterating over line using file pointer all right let's try to understand the program together according to the instruction here is the function and here is the function call the first step is to open the file in the second step we will be iterating over each line of the file using file pointer to split the line into separate words we will be using split function in this way we got one list of separate words we will iterate over this list for that we are using this for loop we are iterating over each word from the list it means now we can access the individual word what we need to check we need to check whether this word is getting end with the at or not for that we are going to use the method ends with there are two such methods one is starts with which will check whether the string is getting started with the specified character or specified string in the same way we have ends with which will check whether the given string is getting ended with the specified string if this condition evaluates to true we need to print that word this is so simple let's consider some random data as data is not given there are some words which are getting end with the at so look at the output we are getting such words we know after all the operations we will be closing the file hope you understood this explanation too in maximum programs based on the text file we will follow the same process we will open the file we will iterate over the individual line and then we will split it after splitting based on the criteria we will work further in this way we practice two programs let's check out one more sample paper for the current session so here we are question number 29 in this we need to write user defined function long lines which will read the content of the text file lines.txt after reading what this function will be doing it will display those lines from the file which has at least 10 words in it look at the content of the file this is the story of the little red riding hood we need to display those lines which have 10 words in it these lines contain at least 10 words that's why it got display we will be iterating over individual lines of the file and calculate the length of words if we have more than 10 then we will display that whole line if you can do it yourself pause the video and give it a try all right here is the code according to the instruction function got created the first step is to open the file using open function we are iterating over each line of the file with the use of file pointer again we are using split function after that we are checking the length of the words so here is a list of words we are checking the length of the words it means it will give the number of elements in that list if it is greater than or equal to 10 we are going to print that whole line because we need to print that entire line not the words look at the first line there are only eight words that's why we will not print this line there are two lines which satisfies the criteria that's why we are getting this output if you want to practice this in vs code create the text file with the given data and then write the code whenever you will try to write program on the text file read the question carefully whether you need to count the words or display the words you will be getting question to display the lines or count the lines accordingly you will modify your programs with that we are proceeding to the or part of the same question the file is same so the content we need to display those lines which have minimum two words starting with t or t so here is the file content and look at the output what's the criteria there should be minimum two words starting with the letter t or capital t look at the line there is one word starting with t and there is one more word starting with t that's why this line is getting printed there is one more line which is satisfying this criteria 
Again same thing we will open the file in the read mode iterate over the lines using file pointer using split we will split the word so that we can check whether that word is getting started with t or t for that we can use this function now that is starts with if you understood the concept pause the video and try it yourself all right here is the code the function according to the instruction is ready the first step is to open the file in the read mode we are iterating over each line using for loop with the use of split function we are splitting the line into words in this way the line got split into separate words now using this inner for loop we are iterating over the individual words of the list now we will be applying the specified criteria on that word it should start with t we have to check for both lower case as well as upper case for that you can write this if statement with or operator or convert the word to lower and check with only t so if we have capital t it will get converted to small t and then we are checking whether it is getting started with t or not we need minimum two such words it means we have to count it for that we are using one variable which is initialized to 0 and based on the criteria we will increment it by 1 with the help of that we will get the count now we will compare that count with this quantity whether it is greater than or equal to 2 or not if it is greater than or equal to 2 then only we need to print that whole line that we are doing with the print statement so be careful what we need to print whether we need to print the word or we need to print the whole line whole line we are getting in the variable line that's why we are printing it finally we will close it don't forget to call the function in this way we check the word whether it is getting started with t or not and if the count is more than 2 then only we are going to print that whole line hope you understood this explanation with that we are proceeding to the sample paper issued by the cbse for the current session let's scroll and check for the programs based on text file here it is same question number 29 we need to write one function but the function name is not specified so we can give function name as we want but it should be meaningful what that function will be doing it will display all the words what's the criteria it should contain at @cmail from the text file emails.txt it means there is a text file which contains mail from that we have to print the words with this mail id already we have discussed four programs based on text file so i hope you got an idea how to do it so i will suggest to pause the video and give it a try here we have consider some random data with some mail ids we need the mail id which has at @cmail.com it means again we need split function to separate out the words from the line so let's check out the code with def keyword we have created the function name of the function we can give as we wish The first step is to open the text file. Here is the name of the specified text file. Now we need to iterate over each line of the file. For that we are using for loop. With the help of file pointer we are iterating over each line of the text file. By applying split method on the line we are separating out the words from the line. In this way we got a list of separate out words. now we need to work on the separated word for that we are using inner for loop in the variable word we will get the separate word which criteria we have to apply on this individual word it should have at the rate cmail so using control statement we are checking it if cmail in word here we are using membership operator you can also use comparison operator if cmail is present in the word we need to print that whole word after all the operations we will be closing the file so this type of output we will be getting here are the words which contains at cmail hope this is clear to you let's continue to the or part of the same question in this also we need to write a user defined function which will find and display all the words longer than 5 characters from the text file words.txt 
same approach we will be following we will iterate over the lines split the words and check the length of the word if the length of the word is greater than 5 then we will print it hope you can do it yourself in this way we will be writing the code first step is to open the file using for loop we are iterating over each line of the file using file pointer to separate out the content of one line into separate words we are using split function after splitting it we got the individual word now let's apply the criteria on that word what's the criteria it should have more than 5 characters so we are applying len function on that word if it is greater than 5 then we are printing that word it's so simple let's not forget to close the file hope you understood this explanation too in this way we practice total 6 programs based on file same approach we will be following open the file in the read mode iterate over the lines split it using split function and apply the criteria on that word so with that note let's wind up today's video in the next video we will be revising binary file so until next time stay curious stay confident and take care of your health i will see you in the next video